Okay, I would like to go into the report part of the superintendent's time. And uh, I would like to introduce our first state of the district of 2023-24. And I have here a few pictures that Mr. Forstner has taken on the first days of school. To the left, you notice some of our students at Russell Middle School who are doing a, um, looks like the spaghetti with the marshmallow team building uh, project that many of us might have done in leadership. And in the middle, we have our Calaveras Hills High School students at phase one of the innovation campus. And to the right, we have some of our students at, it looks like, help me out. Is it Zinker? No. Pomeroy? Thank you, Weller. Thank you, Weller. Weller. Tonight, I want to focus on attendance matters. I have some numbers here. The first is $85. For every day that a student is not with us at school, that's $85 less to go towards our education programs. For every 1% of average daily attendance that our students are here at school for 180 days, that's approximately $1 million towards our school programs and services. So attendance matters. If you look at the California dashboard and look at Milpitas Unified for this past 2022, which is the latest data statistics that is uh, projected there, you see that our chronic absenteeism is very high. Chronic absenteeism and MUSD, like many other districts across the state, has increased. In fact, and before 2020, our attendance rate was 97%. And last year, uh, two years ago in 2021-2022, which was the year that we came back from being online, when we had the big spike around the winter time, the chronic absence, absence was only 5.3%. However, last year, 22-23, when we're through the big crisis of COVID, our chronically absent rate increased to 11.9%, essentially doubled. For 23-24, our attendance rate target this year is to get back to where we were before COVID. So that's at least 97%. There are 180 days of school, 180 days for our students, our learners to experience so much in the classroom. For example, our young man here at Weller experiencing what it is to have science taught by a person who specializes in science. Or over here on the upper right at our Milpitas MUSD Middle College High School, where students have the opportunity to learn alongside each other with their teacher in a way that allows them to be uh, creators of their learning. And in the bottom right, where we have one of our newer teachers with our students at Matos reviewing goals and talking about where they're going to be at the end of the year. Chronic absenteeism is defined as missing 10% of the school year. So that would mean out of 180 days, missing 18 days. And that can accumulate very quickly, where it might seem that it's not such a big deal to miss one to two days per month. When you add that up over the course of the year, that's how we're getting to 10% of absence. This is our independent studies completion rate, or I should say incompletion rate. When you look at the yellow bars, which represent 21, 22, and again, that's the year that we came back in person and the year that we had the tremendous spike in COVID. And we had over 36,000 days of students on independent study. Yet 
we only had an incompletion rate of 5%. When you look at that compared to last year, again, COVID was not such a big deal as it was in the prior two years. You see that even though our numbers of students out on independent studies was much less, the incompletion rate has more than doubled. It is about 12%. And this is a great reason as to why we now have a chronic absenteeism issue in Milpitas Unified. Attendance matters. As these young learners at Russell, you can see on their faces that they're able to connect with each other in ways that they would not be able to connect were they not necessarily in person every day. Every single day at school is an opportunity for learning. It's an opportunity for us to learn uh, things that are soft skills that are important for the future of work, such as interpersonal skills, collaboration, opportunities to explore, to be curious in ways that you can only do so in small groups and not when you're alone on independent studies. So this year, let's be in school every single day. I will add uh, that truancy is an issue when you have chronic absenteeism. And while truancy is defined as missing three days of school with unexcused absences, so that those who are ill, um, illness is an excused absence and doesn't count towards truancy, as a religious attendance for a religious holiday or attendance at something such as a funeral, those are all excused absences and don't contribute to being um, identified as chronically absent or truant for almost every single other reason of an absence. It is not excused and it is truant. It only takes three unexcused absences to be considered truant. So as you see in this pamphlet, which we will add to the parent handbook, and this pamphlet is from the Santa Clara County Office of Education, I would like to highlight this portion right here. Education and earnings are tied to one another. Students not in school miss out on a healthy socialization process, which will aid them throughout life. It's important that our students are in person. Last year, when we did the calendar um, survey, we had opportunities for parents, community staff, even our students to talk in their school site councils, their PTAs as staff, and also to complete a survey on different ways that we might try to meet the need for as many people as possible. And ultimately, that school calendar is what we're living with this year, where we have five days at Thanksgiving, 18 days of winter break vacation, and then another five days in the spring and five days in February. So this is how we gathered feedback. This is the data we looked at. And this is why attendance matters, and we expect that our families will use vacation at the time that we've provided. <laughs> 